Welcome back this morning. It's an event for people who want to be the change this week. Chicago is hosting the International Baccalaureate Festival of Hope. It brings together students, scientists, artists, and government workers from all over the globe to discuss solutions to life's most complex challenges. And joining us now is the event organizer, Jennifer Barami, and participant Ziad Ahmed. Jennifer, welcome. Um, uh, Ziad, thanks for being with us this morning. Thanks so much for having us. So I'm thrilled to be here. Us. Tell us about this Festival of Hope. When did it get started and sure. how did it evolve into what it is now? Sure. Well, thank you for having us. Um, the Festival of Hope was started by the International Baccalaureate. We develop programs for young people ages 3 to 19. We work with over 6,000 schools in 152 countries across wow. the globe. Uh, shortly after the pandemic, we started hearing from young people and also seeing in research that there was a general sense of hopelessness. There was a sense that life was, there were, young people were dealing with many, many challenges, and we didn't really have a lot of answers as grown-ups. And, and so we really wanted to give voice to many of the young people out there but we also wanted to bring together some of the government leaders, education leaders, philosophers, scientists, everyone who's really trying to figure this out and come together and try to bring these discussions forward. And find some common ground in a safe space, right? Find some common ground in a safe space, exactly. Uh, Ziad, how, why did you get involved? Yeah, so I'm really honored to be a speaker and to be a partner you know, uh, with Festival of Hope. And I think that why I got involved is exactly what Jennifer was just saying. That I think we're living in a moment where, right, where young people often feel hopeless, mm -hmm. right? Young people often feel really angry, right, at a world that is letting us down in so many ways, but at the same time we're being celebrated, right? Mm -hmm. And you know, we see that with the midterm results, right? Everyone's saying Gen Z came out to vote yes. and let's celebrate that. But then where are the Gen Zers who are actually getting amplified to talk about that? Right? And being heard. And right? being heard. It's a lot of people talking for us or about <laughs> right. us, right? And it's a lot of people talking about how we bring them hope, but not necessarily a lot of people giving us platform, right, to be more hopeful ourselves. Yeah. And I think what is so special about Festival of Hope is it's bringing young speakers, young leaders to the table to be in conversation with the decision makers of our time such that meaningfully we can empower Gen Z with more hope and with more agency to do something with that hope. Right? Because I think often, right, young people, we have this energy, right? And, and we have and these I ideas. I can feel it right yeah, now. Can you feel it? I hope so. I hope so. But we're, we're, we're not always talking about the, you in the future election. I don't know about that. I don't know. But we're not always given the platform, right, right, to make that change. And what I think is so inspiring here is we're not just talking about the hope. We're talking about what to do with it. Yeah. What are the actionable solutions? And that was my next yeah. question. How do you put the words into action? Yeah. yeah. Well, and I think that's part of what we're exploring is we're, we're spending a lot of time in that place of inquiry. What does it take? What what are we hearing? And then we're also trying to identify these pathways to action. And so we're looking at organizations across the world who are doing incredible things. We've partnered with the Jane Goodall Institute Roots mm -hmm. and Shoots Global, working with them. They work in 65 countries. We've developed a global hackathon to see how we can create technology for good, working with um, Cello. So we're, we're working across the globe, finding amazing partners, and then trying to guide young people or give opportunities for these pathways to action. And the Festival of Hope starts today here in Chicago. Can people still attend and get involved? So the Festival of Hope, it's really exciting. It starts here today in Chicago with our partner, Chicago Public Schools. They have invited several Southside high schools to Back of the Yards High School, where we're going to be meeting with young people like Ziad and Sarah Mora and Diana Chow and really understanding what does it take to transform humanity. Well, Z Ziad, Jennifer, thanks so much and all the best this week with the Festival of Hope happening right here in Chicago. Laura, let's check in with the weather.